the position we're in uh, from a corporate standpoint, this is the strongest position we've ever been as a company as it pertains to revenue, uh, profitability. We just showed a record quarter again, positive adjusted EBITDA for the past nine months, uh, which is incredible for our company. It just really shows how dedicated we are to building a profitable company. ESC Entertainment provides a range of services to video game developers, publishers, and brands. Founded in 2019, the company focuses on bringing new users and players to video game developers and increasing game publicity. I think we've done a tremendous job with our revenue growth, scaling from sub a million to a 65 plus million run rate as per our last quarter. Uh, we want to continue that trajectory and we anticipate continued growth going into 2023. Part of the company's plan to fuel growth in 2023 and beyond is to attract some of the best leaders in the industry to join the management team. Most recently, the company named Andrea Lewin as its CFO, who will be counted on to grow its revenue base that stands at an annual run rate of $65 million. She just came from the Great Canadian Casino. Uh, they had a $3 billion exit last year, and we're really happy to have Ron at ESC now full time. I think this is just really highlights again the maturation of ESC. ESC Entertainment has also attracted the attention of the investment community that looks for hidden value. Most notably, Report on Business included ESC Entertainment in its list of top 10 undervalued communication services stocks on the TSX Venture Exchange. We've done a very good job of weathering a tough market, in my opinion. Consistently being on top 10 lists for top communications and top junior communications companies on the TSX and consistent growth. We continue to put out really strong news. ESC Entertainment has established a corporate goal to achieve $100 million in revenue by increasing its technology capabilities and winning new contracts. Management is confident that its track record of success bodes well for its outlook. In my opinion, we've over delivered on the business. You can't find another group that's executed the way we have on the venture. Proofs in the pudding, numbers don't lie, and we're continuing to execute. So uh, I think it's rare for a company to scale from basically zero to 65 million run rate in 18 months.